Let me run through a couple more ways of moving around your Pro Tools session. We've already talked about the fact that hitting return brings you to the beginning of the session. How do you get to the end? Well, you hold down option and return. Now, I might have mentioned that when you hold down your shift key, you extend a selection. For example, if I select here and then I shift click here, you'll notice my selection is extended. And if I shift double click a region, then that region is added to my selection. If I choose return and I shift option return, I select my whole session. Or if I'm here and I want to select from this point to the beginning of my session, I just press shift and return. So return is beginning, option return is the end, adding shift makes it a selection. Now there's another useful button up here, and that's this last one, which we haven't covered yet. This is called insertion follows playback. And there's a shortcut for it, control N. And what that does is it moves my playback cursor to wherever I stop playing. So when that is on, watch what happens. I play from here, let's say from bar 37, Now I'm at bar 39, beat four, which is where I stopped. If this is turned off and I go back to 37 and I play. I return back to 37. So if you're working on a certain area and you want to always return back to it, no matter where you're playing, then keep this turned off. Control N will turn it on, and that means the cursor moves with you as you play your session. Now you also can use your mouse to scroll around the session. If you have a mouse with a scroll wheel, scrolling up and down on your scroll wheel will scroll up and down your tracks. And if you hold the shift key, it will move horizontally. We can also scroll to a specific track in several ways. Every track in your session has a number. We can actually see it by going view track number. So my snare is two, my bass drum is one, my hi-hat is four, and so forth. To go to a specific track, I can hit command option F. Type in a track number, and that track scrolls to the top. If I have Pro Tools HD, I can also select a track in my track list and choose scroll into view. Unfortunately, that's only available with HD. I'll turn off my track numbers. One last thing, I can scroll my whole window here by holding down command option control, all three modifiers. You'll see my cursor turns into a hand and I just drag and the whole session moves back and forth. Finally, don't forget the universe window. I can get to it, remember, from here. There it is, and I can, of course, resize it. And this allows me to zoom in on specific areas of the session, drag back and forth, up and down through my tracks. It always shows me the area that's highlighted. And if I don't want it, I just click that and it will go away.